name is Yvonne and welcome to the RV Cooking Show and welcome to my home. This is my RV. I'm a full-time RVer and I've been on the road since 2000. One of my big goals in traveling was to see the country, sample and recreate regional taste sensations. I've got some good things in store for us so come on, let's get cooking. Today I'm going to make some guacamole, delicious guacamole. I was down in Tucson, home of the stately saguaro cactus and the Mexican food capital of the United States, and visited a restaurant called The Flying V. Not The Flying J, The Flying V, and learned how to make tableside guacamole. Let me show you how it's done. We'll need half a cup of diced red onion, a cup of diced tomato, a teaspoon of minced garlic, two tablespoons of cilantro, some spicy jalapeno, salt and pepper, and of course, two ripe medium avocados. I'm going to chop up half a cup of red onion. Okay, cilantro. It's okay if you get cilantro stems. The stems are edible and they actually have a lot of flavor. The tomatoes. All right. Delicious. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to chop our garlic. Pop this in. Mm -mm -mm. This is more garlic than we're going to use, but that's okay, because I'll use it for something else. Okay, I'm going to pulse it. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is our jalapeno. Jalapenos are interesting. You never know how spicy a particular jalapeno is. Sometimes they're very mild, and sometimes they're very spicy. It has to do with the growing conditions, I do believe. Uh, but one thing I know for sure is no matter how spicy it is, if you get any of the liquid from the inside of the jalapeno on your fingers and you touch your face or anywhere else on your body, it'll really sting and it's hard to stop. So uh, we're going to chop up our jalapeno, but we're going to use a trick a grocery vegetable bag. Okay, here's what we do. We take our vegetable bag, we turn it inside out, and we're going to put our hand inside it. This hand is going to hold the jalapeno while we chop it carefully. Okay, first going to chop the little top off with the stem. I'm going to cut it in half, like so. And a lot of the spice, in fact most of the spice is in the seeds, and I don't really care for the seeds, so I'm going to scrape them out onto a paper towel that I have in the bottom of my sink. So just using my knife, carefully scraping them out, looking good, get the rest of them out here. And let's see, I'm going to push this one aside, and we're going to chop this guy up, get those extra seeds off there. I'm going to chop this guy up just in small little pieces, just delightful. What I'm going to do is I'm going to taste just a little piece of this jalapeno. Hmm. Okay. Um, it's a little bit spicy, so that gives me a good idea of how much jalapeno to actually use. Okay. I think we're ready to put everything together. We have all prepared a half a cup of diced red onion, one cup of diced tomato, one teaspoon of minced garlic, two tablespoons of cilantro chopped, two tablespoons of jalapeno chopped, again to taste. If you don't like it quite as spicy, don't put as much in. If you like it spicier, put a little bit more in. I've got some salt and pepper ready to go, and of course I've got my two ripe medium avocados. Okay, now we're ready to assemble our guacamole. We have all of our ingredients chopped up, and now all we have to do is mix it up and eat it. Very simple. I've got a mixing bowl right here inside my mixing bowl ready are some measuring spoons, a spoon to remove the avocado from its shell or smusher, and then a spatula to transfer it into our serving bowl. So, easy. I'm going to take our half a cup of diced red onion. That looks like about half a cup. Remember everything in this recipe is to taste. Half a cup of diced red onion, a cup high quality diced tomatoes, uh, along with the juice, if I can get the juice in there. We need a teaspoon of minced garlic. I'm going to take that out of our little chopper bowl. One teaspoon. I make it a heaping teaspoon because I love the garlic in it. So we'll give that a try. Two tablespoons of our chopped cilantro. Again, I really like cilantro in mine, so I make it a heaping tablespoon. 
Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. Got my chopped jalapeno. Again, it's two tablespoons. Try not to touch it. If you touch it, you might be sorry. Maybe a little spatula can help get it into your spoon. Oh yeah, that looks good. Get all of that because that's pretty much measured up pretty tight. Okay, and some salt and pepper. Let me reach over and grab the salt and pepper here. Now I know a lot of us are trying not to eat too much salt, but you really need salt to make this taste good. So be generous. It calls for half a teaspoon of coarse kosher salt. Mmm. -hmm. And a half a teaspoon of black ground pepper. Alright, now it's time for the avocado the main attraction in guacamole. How do you tell if they're ripe? Typically a Haas avocado is green, light green, when it is not ripe, and it turns darker as it ripens. What you want to do is feel it. You don't want it hard as a rock. It wants to give just a little bit under your thumb pressure. If you can only find hard avocados, unripe avocados, that's okay. Buy them, set them on your counter, and in a day or two they'll ripen up, ready to use in your guacamole. Okay, again, we're going to cut it. I'm going to put our knife at the top, feel the pit inside, rotate around all the way through it, rotate it. Ah, uh, yeah, another good avocado. We're going to remove our pit. We're going to take our knife carefully, flop it right into the pit. Oh, not quite hard enough. Flop it into the pit, turn it. That loosens the pit. Out it comes. Remember, it's a slippery pit. Set it aside. Be careful not to cut yourself. Using our spoon again, right in between the flesh and the thin skin. Easy. Scoop right around. Scoop down the bottom and into the bowl. Get any that you've left behind in the skin. Mmm. It's going to be delicious. Okay. The last quarter of avocado around the thin skin, scoop out the soft, delicious flesh. Mm, get everything else that's left in the skin. And we're ready to smush it up. Okay, using our official smusher, what we're going to do is we're going to take the avocado and we're going to push it up against the side of the dish. It's nice and ripe. You know it's ripe because it squishes easily. If your avocado was not ripe, it'd be too hard and it'd be slipping out between your fork and your bowl. Leave your pieces chunky. It's wonderful to get big chunks of avocado in your guacamole. Mmm. Beautiful. Okay, now I'm just going to mix the whole concoction together. Mmm. It smells really, really good. It's almost time to eat the guacamole, so let's get it together. Put it in our serving bowls with some tortilla chips and we'll be ready. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're going to love it. It's a hit. Olay. We'll see you next time on the RV Cooking Show.